Hey everyone, let's take a look at the swap boss slash base feature of the SOLIDWORKS as well as the swap cut feature. This feature is very useful in terms of uh, creating uh, pipes or for example different kinds of springs and we will be looking at these examples in this uh, tutorial. So let's uh, create a new part file and I will be using the front plane to make a circular sketch uh, right at the origin and I'm going to make that uh, circular sketch as uh, 25 millimeters diameter. Okay, so this is going to be our cross section of the circular pipe. I'm going to exit from the sketching mode and then click on the top lane to sketch on the top lane for the, the trajectory. I will make use of the sketch lines and again you, you can always uh, dimension this uh, sketch line depending on uh, what the uh, parameters are provided. So I'm going to make this 200 uh, millimeters vertical length. Uh, also I'm going to be using the tangent arc to create a bend uh, in the pipe and also then extend this by another horizontal line and also going to make that a tangential relationship with it. I will be using uh, you know further set of dimensions here for example let's use this as uh, 265 and the length as 300 millimeters for the extended uh, section of the sketch. Once we have the sketch profile which is the circular cross section and the trajectory or the path for sweeping this cross section created in another plane which is perpendicular to the plane uh, in which the profile is created. We can then proceed to uh, features but before that let's exit out of the sketching mode and then click on the swept boss slash pace. So the two options are uh, required to be provided. One is the profile and the other one is the path. For the profile, I'm going to choose this circular sketch and for the path, I will use the uh, sketch lines that we've created in the top lane for the path or the trajectory. There are several options here that also we can make use of, uh, but at the very basic level, uh, the sweep feature can be added and the pipe can be created. Okay. Very similar to this sweep uh, profile, we can also use the swept cut feature and in order to do it, I'm going to click on the circular cross section at the end and sketch on it uh, another circle. And I will dimension that as uh, let's say uh, 20 millimeters leaving the 2.5 uh, millimeters thickness for the pipe. And that's all really you need to do as far as this problem is concerned because we already have the path created. So I'm going to exit out of the sketching mode, go to features, click on the uh, swept cut. The sketch 3 or the profile has already been selected by default and now for the selection of the path, we can click on the uh, design tree and expand the sweep in order to select the sketch 2 from the sweep profile that we had created earlier. So once we selected that sketch 2 which is the trajectory or the path for sweeping this new cross section that we've created. I'm going to click on the check mark 
and the pipe can be made hollow. So that is how a sweep feature can be added and uh, it's, it's very useful to create uh, the solid models such as pipes. Now I'm going to be using another example to demonstrate the swept pause slash pace feature where we will be looking at how to create a spring. So I'm going to start a new part file and again similar to the previous one we're going to create a uh, circular sketch on the front plane. This is going to be the overall or the major diameter of the spring that we are uh, trying to create. So I'm going to assign this dimension as let's say 150 millimeters and then come out of the sketching mode. After that we can go to the curves under the features tab and then click on helix and spiral. Once we select the helix and spiral, a preview of the spring will be created based on what are the parameters that we want to define the spring with. Either we can use the pitch and revolution or height and revolution or height and pitch or simply the spiral. We can also make it as a constant or a variable pitch. If we are using the constant pitch and the, defi the definition is pitch and revolution, uh, we can adjust the pitch and also we can adjust the number of revolutions. For example, if I say uh, we need uh, 12 revolutions and depending on how we want the pitch, uh, the distance between two uh, consecutive loops uh, that is defined as the pitch in this case, let us say I use the pitch as uh, 50 millimeters. Either we can use it clockwise or counterclockwise or we can have a different start angle other than zero degrees or also we can add a taper uh, to the helix if we wanted to. So there are several options here that you can play around with and once we have uh, defined the pitch and the revolution, I'm going to click OK so a spiral can be created from that circular profile uh, that we had created earlier. So remember that circle was created in the front plane and which means I'm going to go to either the top plane or the right plane. Uh, in this case I'm going to select the uh, top plane and sketch on the uh, top plane a, a circular sketch that will be profile when we create the uh, sweep feature. I'm going to assign uh, the smart dimension to this. Uh, let me make it as 15 uh, millimeters. And once we have created that profile with the desired uh, diameter, uh, we can exit out of this sketching mode and then go to features, swap boss slash pace. Profile is selected. We're going to select the trajectory and we can see the preview of the spring that has been created here. I'm going to click OK to finish off the operation and this is how we can make a spring in the SOLIDWORKS. We can make further modifications to the spring. Let's say we wanted to make it uh, either uh, the torsional spring for example where the spring is typically having the extended arms to carry the uh, twisting load and so in order to create that uh, torsional spring I'm going to revisit the uh, helix and spiral feature I'm going to edit it and instead of 12 revolutions I'm going to make it as a half 12.5 revolutions and then click OK so that way we can create the extended features on the both ends that will come out in the same direction. So now we can select this uh, circular cross-section face at one end and click a circle and just use the extrude base feature 
to simply extend it. And then click OK. And a similar thing we can do it on the other cross section. I'm going to sketch on it and make another circle. Extrude it. And that is how we can make the torsional spring. So this is how we can use the swept boss slash base feature and the swept cut feature where we can uh, make use of it for the creation of various types of solid models uh, which we cannot really create it using the extrude boss slash base uh, option. The examples that we looked at are the pipes and the springs. So have fun playing with this uh, swept boss slash base feature. And in the next video, we will take a look at uh, different types of patterns. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.